All right guys, so check it out. So this setup that I have right now, that I'm using right now, this background that I got behind me, it's just a bed sheet. I actually got it from a bargain store. You can probably get old bed sheets at Goodwill or a thrift store. I know some of you are like, oh, that's gross. Okay, you're not gonna lay down in it. You're choosing this photography backdrop, okay? Run it through the washing machine, it's gonna be fine. What I have right here for a light source is a lamp with bendy thingies on it. Okay, I'll show you. Boom. Pretty easy, okay? Pick that up at Goodwill too, okay? Or you can get them, I think, for like 10, 20 bucks at Walmart. Really easy light source. You can even make your light softer if you want to. So um, a white bed sheet over top of it really diffuse that light coming in. And you can really adjust those and play with the constant lights. It really is a good way to teach you how to use lights if you never used strobes or flashes before. All right, next up we have to have a way to hang up our bed sheet. I have mine on my backdrop just because that's easier, but just put some nails through it. Put some thumbtacks up, hang it up against the wall. Really easy. Uh, another light source that you could use is just a window. If you'll make your in-home studio close to a window and you can get some nice window light coming through, that'd be great. Uh, you can even diffuse that light too by getting um, some curtains, just regular window, window curtains that are white and sheer. Slide those across the window, make that light even softer coming across people's faces. You can get some really nice photos without using a whole lot of ex expensive stuff. The expensive stuff is nice, okay, and there's a reason why it's expensive, but do you really need it for, to make a great photo? You don't. Be creative, find some things that are gonna work for you. I'll show you guys real quick what I did with this bed sheet if you do have a backdrop like I do. All right, so what we got here, a bed sheet, okay? I'm not kidding you, okay? You can see here, look at the seams. It's just a bed sheet, okay? What you can do is you can just get um, a bracket and a pole just for some regular curtains, okay? So get a curtain rod and brackets that you hang up over your windows, you know, to put the curtain rod on and you slide the curtain on. All you have to do, you see this little thing right here? The seam did come all the way up. All I did, get some scissors, cut that through, and look, it leaves a nice hole there. So you can just thread the pole straight through that and you have yourself a backdrop, okay? Or, like I said earlier, you can just get some thumbtacks, some pushpin needles, or some nails and just hammer it up on the wall if you want to do that. Uh, if all else fails, just paint a wall a color that you want it. I don't know, it's up to you. There's a lot of creative things that you can do without needing to spend a whole lot of money. Again, gear is just a tool and not an end in itself. It's a means to get you to the end, which is your finished product, the photo. All right. So there we have it. You have your in-home studio set up, ready to go for probably less than 40 bucks, really. Especially if you go get these things at thrift stores or catch some things on sale here or there. Really easy to do, really simple. Again, you don't need all of these quick change things, all of these super nice backdrops or whatever. Maybe later on those would be really cool. Again. This is a bed sheet. I'm using it right now. I've used it for tons of headshots, tons of professional shoots. Nobody knows the difference. Probably nobody cares, okay? And you can paint on these things. And if you mess up the paint, guess what? Just flip it around or just throw it out. You probably paid two bucks for it at a thrift store anyway, okay? So again, don't be intimidated. Don't find excuses. I'm using a bed sheet and some lamps and a couple other constant lights. Super cheap to do, you can do it too. Thanks for checking us out, stay tuned for more.